Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascendant Divination Priestess channel. Let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. For someone out there, your twin flame has fallen from grace. So if he comes around you, this is a masculine that I picked up on. Do not entertain this man. There is something that this man partook in when it comes to you. Uh, your twin flame will be a knight of cups, baby. <laughs> do not entertain him. There's something that he is being sent towards you to do. And I picked up on this in my last reading where it says somebody's twin flame or someone's old friend or whoever this is is being sent to give you some type of false offer so that an emperor or a king of swords does not make it to you uh, to give you an offer. So if you... Then I tell you this right here. So if you accept an offer from these people, from whoever is coming towards you, it's going to lead to some type of uh, a painful ending for you. And that's the last thing you need. So someone is coming in with an offer from a queen of pentacles. When this masculine comes towards you, he's not going to tell you who sent him or if anybody sent him. It's supposed to be like it's an accidental thing. Like coincidentally, he ended up where you are. It's not coincidental. These people are watching you, watching where you go, know your probably your routine by heart and things like that. So they know exactly where you are, when to send this person, where to send him, uh, what to say to you. Uh, but you got a queen of pentacles that's very burdened behind the scenes. Um, not wanting you to be seen, not wanting you to be heard because maybe they stole something from you or tried to block something. It's trying to block a union from coming into being. This woman believes that you being alone and isolated and rejected is beneficial for her and her community. They can keep harvesting off of your energy or something like that. You could be someone who's a star seed and you are extremely gifted. They don't want you to have some type of new beginning you offer because they know you're someone that's very innovative. There could be something about like an industry. They know that if you step into it, you're going to outdo the competition. Man, there will be no competition. So it's something like that where it's like they're trying to block you from being able to manifest some type of new beginning, whether it is a relationship, whether it's a job, position, business, opportunity, whatever this is. But you are being protected. Whoever you are supposed to partner up with is a uh, energy that's in the upright, okay? And with the Ten of Cups out here, it could be you and this person building an empire together. And this is going to be something that's based on healing, reciprocity, that equal give and take. It doesn't have to be love. It can be a partnership that's just filled with a lot of happiness. Like, people are happy in this community. People like showing up to work. Or this could be you and your partner uh, working together happily, uh, no questions, no like uh, hesitations and things like that. You don't have to wonder what it is he or she is thinking or feeling about you. You both are very much in sync. There's some type of synchronicity. You pour in his cup, he pours into your cup, whether it's business or professional. Uh, and this is like an ace of pentacles that both of you are going to nurture together. And it's going to be something that's destiny, right? It's meant to be. It's going to be very fulfilling. And this is what this queen of pentacles is worried about. For some of you, this could be a king, queen of pentacles from this masculine's past. So he's in the upright, but she's a nutcase. Could have been with this man solely for his money. No type of emotional investment from her part. Maybe he spoiled her, uh, uh, showered her with gifts and things like that, and he got very little return on investment because honestly, it is an investment when you are showing someone in, uh, affections and in whatever way you can, and they're not giving nothing back. They're just there expecting. It's said, oh, you know, uh, I want the new iPhone. It's said, you can get whatever iPhone you want to, something like that. It's like... It's that he put a lot into the relationship, but she put the bare minimum. And I don't know if because this man was stuck on her beauty or her woo-ha or whatever it is, but there's something where it's some type of split or a breakup going on or uh, it's something, whatever is going on, he's wanting to have a new beginning somewhere, a new opportunity, new adventure, taking charge of life. He's choosing to come towards you and tell you the truth. What these people are trying to do is send someone in to you. They're watching you, baby. They're watching you. They're sending someone in to cause some type of stillness so that you and this person, the higher level soulmate, do not come together. Uh, so it's like they're trying to sabotage 
your connection, but it's not going to happen. Uh, whoever this man is that's coming towards you is very clever. Someone's very, like, I don't, you know, like, sometimes you meet people, their intellect is on a whole different level. A whole different level. And people don't realize that these kind of people are, like, light years ahead of them. So, like, while they're planning and plotting to stop the two of you from meeting, the whole time this person has a whole plan that is way above your plan, way above what it is you are up to, and you don't even realize it. So, it's something like that where it's, like, a gentleman out here. It's very uh, intellectual. This could be, like, a star seed. But when you see him, you may not know he's a star seed. This is someone that carries himself like an average Joe or something like that. This is not someone that dresses fancy or whatever. This is just someone that's very laid back. Comes across as like maybe a king of swords, king of pentacles energy. Um, but you would never guess that this man is like a star seed. He could be going through some type of painful ending right now when it comes to his relationship with this queen of pentacles this will be a queen of pentacles that's sending this knight of cups towards you so that you and this higher level soap may do not partner up together i've been picking up on two different queen of pentacles i feel like one of them is from this man's past and there's another one within a community and they both are trying to stop you and this man from partnering up together um they want him to leave you out in the cold he could be going through some type of ending though they're trying to put an end into some type of new beginning between the both of you but it looks like you two will still be having it and the universe is protecting this contract between you and uh this man which means it's a disappointment for this group they collaborated together to block some type of offer or some type of contract from taking place between you and this man. They're all living in, I'm telling you, they're all living in fear. Absolutely. They're all living in fear because the truth is out. Like people know exactly what these people have been doing. There could be some type of prophecy playing out as well. They're also upset that you're going to be receiving some type of promotion that's going to put an end to this karmic chapter, right? Whoever this king of swords is, is a king of pentacles as well. So this could be like a business mogul. I don't know what this is, but someone very hardworking, very skilled. Uh, I don't know if this is a business mogul or someone that's just really good at managing people. Um, and they could be interested in working with you. So just be very cautious. Uh, be mindful of how you're carrying yourself and things like that. Maybe you know this emperor. Maybe you don't know this emperor. But when they approach you, be very cautious of... Uh, I'm not saying like pretend. Don't ever pretend to be something you're not. Uh, but just be cautious of how you're speaking to them, how you're uh, carrying yourself, how you're responding and things like that. Because someone holds you in high regards and they don't want to be disappointed. Okay. As far as this person is concerned, there's really nothing you can do wrong in their eyes. But that doesn't mean that you go and take advantage um, of this uh, be you because I think someone knows who you are on a soul level um, and they know you don't have any malicious intent so if you make some type of mistake it's not like he's going to be out here like oh my gosh this heifer or oh my gosh she's so incompetent or he's so incompetent or something like that it's nothing like that um, but because this man knows who you are and may have some type of loyalty to you that you probably don't even know you may not know who this person is and sometimes that's how the universe works They'll put someone on your side you've never met before that's advocating for you. They may see that you are at some type of disadvantage as well when it comes to a group of people. And they'll support you from behind the scenes, right? Take care of you in the way that they can, right? Until it's time for the both of you to meet. So it's something like that. But just don't, don't go there pretending to be something you are not. Because he'll know. He'll know. The meaning you sit down and tell a lie to him, he'll know. Because this is someone that's very gifted, okay? Both of you are very gifted. You may be someone that's more of a high priestess. And he's more so in this temperance energy. Um, but he's very sharp. You see that sword out there, baby? He, I'm telling you, very sharp, down to earth, very genuine, authentic. I don't know if he's eccentric, but he's very different. His energy is very different. It's like someone has a loud energy, but then it's subtle. So I don't even know how to 
I don't know the term terminology to describe this person. This is a very unique energy that I'm picking up on. You don't see energies like these, uh, like this very often. This is very unique. And the level of loyalty this person has to you is out of this world. And this is why I'm telling you to be very cautious of what it is that you say and do when it comes to your partnership with this person because this is like I would say like this is the last person you will want turning on you because if they if they uh feel like you're dishonest they're not going to be like working with you but someone knows you're you're very solid and they do know that maybe there's some type of work working on self is what I hear working on self when it comes to you that needs to be done and they're willing to put in the work to get to help you do just that okay but you have people that are trying to steal this opportunity from you and this is why they're sending in a knight of cups to give you an immature offer and they're hoping that you're not going to see through this knight of cups but when this knight of cups come in this could be someone that finds you to be beautiful and things like that <laughs> i'm so sorry i didn't mean to laugh but uh lord have mercy this could be someone that maybe has some type of feelings for you but this is someone that has fallen from grace they're, they're just as manipulative as the people that are sending them. Um, but this could be someone that finds you to be very beautiful. This could be uh, why they're sending him to you. Because he finds you to be attractive, alluring, and things like that. And maybe he's going to feed off of that, talking about your beauty and things like that when he comes to you. It's like, I always had feelings for you, but I didn't know how to tell you. Let him be because this person is part of this collaboration to cause you blockages to steal something from you. Okay, wait on that emperor, that uh, higher level soap may to come in and give you the offer. Something may start off as work or whatever this is. Um, maybe, maybe now with that page of cups, it could be something that starts off as a friendship. Uh, very young and innocent kind of friendship, okay? Your emperor may be a little bit more mature than you. You could be more mature than your emperor. It doesn't matter. It is going to be something that's authentic. There could be some type of communication, good news coming in to you from this person. So uh, just stay vigilant. Keep your good news to yourself. Don't tell anybody about it um, because there are people out here trying to destroy you. They are trying to stop this man from coming towards you okay yeah they're trying to stop him trying to isolate him uh something so that he does not come towards you trying to it's like they don't want you partnering up i don't know if he's trying to give you something that's going to take you out of some type of five of pentacles whatever kind of energy you are in um that's alarming that is alarming. We got the King of Swords through the Eight of Swords and Knight of Swords. Uh, so someone could be doing some type of manipulation so that they can take some type of impulsive action uh, to do you something. And you got a couple out here that may be trying to balance something out or trying to advocate on your behalf. You got a lot going on behind the scenes and you just don't know about it. Like, it's a whole group of people doing something in regards to you, and you you are not even paying these people any mind. There's something your ancestors or the angels are attuning for you. Like, somebody wants to work with you. They're, they're very happy to know of you, be aware of you, all right, be associated with you. But you got a lot of people in your background that are just doing too much. Too much. Okay, um, and this has to do with you receiving some type of opportunity. They don't want you to receive it. They're fighting, they're arguing, cussing and fighting, whatever it is they're doing. It's a whole lot of drama going on and maybe you're just somewhere chill, relax with this nine of pentacles out here. Maybe just chill, relax, minding your business, tending to your garden if you have one, tending to your home, your family. Right, going within, introspecting. You could be a hermit right now, but you're about to come out of this hermit mode. You got a whole lot of people out here just doing too much. Too, too invested in somebody else's life and time. Too invested, I'm telling you. Too invested. 
you could and when this when I put this card down, I heard something about truth uh contract. Truth about contract. You're gonna have you're gonna find the truth out about some type of contract, some type of will, some type of deed, some type of collaboration. Someone is coming towards you to tell you the truth. And I don't know if you know who this person is. Something may shock you, the news that you receive or whoever is coming from may shock you, but they're going to be telling you the truth about a contract, an offer, uh, something about uh, a business proposal, property, inheritance. They're going to be telling you about something, some type of confession to uh, uh, just help you in a karmic cycle because there's something where like a community a friend group they are exposed with this with that uh, uh ace of swords to the three of pentacles there's a group being exposed the truth is out about what it is they've been doing when it comes to you and they've been trying to hide this for a long time absolute long time trying to trap you limit your options uh limit your connections and things like that trying to take you out all kinds of stuff it's really ridiculous absolutely ridiculous let me go ahead and pull out this last card and i can do my recap um and then we'll be out of here i said i don't know if it was this one that i said that this uh uh, uh no it was my previous video this knight of cups here this man has like someone in his life that he talks to that he should not be talking to about the kind of women or his dating life, like who he's interested in. So if you're this Knight of Cups that's being sent towards a Queen of Wands, stop talking to this King of Swords about what it is you or who you are interested in dating. This there's something this man does behind the scenes to block your love life. <sighs> I don't know if he's telling people not to be associated with you, not to date you, or he's sleeping with them, or he's telling them some type of lie about you. Do not to talk. I don't know why people do this, that when they're interested in talking to a man or a woman, they go talk to the whole nine yards of friends that friends they have, not knowing that their friends sometimes don't have any good intentions for them. They're just waiting for them to walk away so they can go and approach that man or that woman that their friend is interested in. Stop talking to people about who you want to date. It's stupid as heck. I don't care how long you've been friends with somebody. Your friend ain't fun to please you, ain't fun to live life with you, nothing. When you two are done talking, guess what? Your friend gets up and goes home to their partner or to their life and you are sitting at home looking dumb and stupid as heck stuck in a still made talking about well joe said uh she that betty ain't a cool girl so i'm probably ain't gonna talk to betty are you dumb or something why are you even talking to joe about you wanting to talk to betty well you especially men i don't know if this is like some type of initiation into brotherhood but let me school you all because i'm so sick of you and i'm so sick Ooh, I'm so sick of you people's nonsense. When you're interested in a girl, go do your uh, findings for yourself. Get to know that woman. Learn her yourself. Don't send your freaking brothers or your friend to go and ask her out for you. That stuff pisses women off. The only people that that works on are insecure and immature women that don't understand a goddamn thing about dating. Any woman that actually has substance to herself and knows who she is, when you send a third party to her to tell her that you are interested in her, it turns her off immediately. It's like, the, the F do I look like? The, he, he don't know where I am. I'm standing here. The both of you are right there. Why can't he come to me and talk to me himself? He got a problem or something? Like, go do it yourself. Stop blocking your blessings because you want your friend's approval. Stop talking to your uncle or your superior. I don't know if this is your boss, your superior, your uncle, brother, whoever. For I don't give to F who it is. Stop talking to people about who you're interested in. Because 9 out of 10 times, the people you're talking to don't even have your best interest at heart. Unless you absolutely trust somebody 100%. Don't talk to them about who you're interested in or what you are interested in doing with your life. Never. Go find out for yourself. If you if you need attention that desperately, or you, not attention, if you need advice, it could be attention. If you need advice that desperately, talk to someone, take their two cents, add your 98 cents to it. Meaning at the end of the day, regardless of what that person tells you about Betty, 
you are still going to talk to Betty and find out who Betty is from Betty. It's very immature and insecure as heck when you block your opportunities and offers and whatever else off with people because your friend or your mammy or your auntie told you that Betty is a naughty girl. Betty sells herself. Betty does this and that. What the heck is wrong with you? What if somebody else is telling Betty that you do the same thing, but you know you don't even do any of that? What What are you going to do then when you go to Betty to talk to her and Betty said, oh, your brother told me you be selling stuff online. <laughs> uh-uh, your brother told me you're a womanizer. I'm not... What about that? I don't know. You all don't ever think. Men do this a lot. So I'm going to ask my boys. I'm going to tell them, like, look, look, look. I want to talk to her. What you think? You think I should talk to her? What are you, a middle schooler? You need permission for everything? Even your love life? Is your brother, is your best friend going to suck your D at night? I know you don't move that way, so what the heck are you doing? Come on. That's a little bit too explicit, excuse me. But I'm, I just get really frustrated when I see men do this stuff. It's like, hey, can you go tell her I want to holler at her? Like, who the heck do you think you are? What are you... Obama or something? Jesus Christ? You can't go do it yourself? Come on. Hey, go do it yourself. Go do it yourself. And they be wondering why you got problems in your relationships because every five seconds you got to call your friend Joel to tell them that something is going on. You need help. She ain't listening. She's trying to leave him. The whole time, you probably don't know she and Joe got it going on behind the scenes. And she's trying to leave because she want to go be with Joe. And you don't know that Joe already knows how she moves. And you're the one in there being stupid the whole time thinking that, oh, you got a best friend and you got a girl. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you got a mitt and you got a girl. Okay, that's your mitt right there. You you are brother husbands. You know how they got sister wives? Brother husbands. Okay. You are... A, Brother husband one and his brother husband two. And when you leave to go to work or whatever, brother husband two is taking care of business and breaking her back in. And then you come home and she's pissed up because brother husband two had to leave early because you decided to bring your behind home early. Uh-huh. And you don't know why she's pissed up. Like, What's going on? We were just happy this morning. I don't know what she's doing. I'm going to call Joel to see what's going on. Whole time, Joel is laughing at your dumb behind, behind the scenes. Because he done came in and took care of business. And he knows exactly why she's pissed up. Yeah, yeah. Man, don't be moving. Come on. Come on. And then James Brown be happy. James Brown had the audacity to say it's a man's work. Well, I guess it is. Because y'all sure be making the rules, but don't know how to follow them. Oh, Lord have mercy. Have mercy, Lord have mercy. Well, what are we going to do with these men, sisters? What are we going to do with them? Nothing. Can't live with them. Can't live without them. It's the same with women. I don't know why they be saying you can't live with a woman. and You, you can't uh, live with a woman. You cannot live without her. It's the same with men. You can't live with them. You can't live without them either. They're full-time job. Anyways, let's go ahead and get back into this nonsense. <sighs> Sorry, sorry. This is not nonsense. This is my job. <laughs> I'm so sick of you. <laughs> this Wahala. Wahala don't day. Every freaking day, Wahala don't day. Anyways, this Knight of Cups, brother, I don't know who you are that they're sending to a sister to go in here for some type of offer, a fictitious offer, so you can lure her back into an organization or to block her from getting with an emperor. It ain't gonna work. You sit your behind somewhere if you accepted some money or some type of promotion i don't know if they want that money back or that promotion back you might as well just give it back because she ain't coming with you she don't want no offer from you you fell from grace you're trapped in something she don't want to be a part of and that's what i got from the dream okay uh your uncle or your superior whoever this is your whoever this is you work for or work with in this organization stop talking to him about who it is you want to date uh he don't care he is causing you blockages behind the scenes. Uh, he's probably telling this woman a whole lot. Your uncle probably got more money than you do. And when you leave and you're done talking to him about who it is you are interested in him, in, your uncle goes to them and he makes a deal with them and he bangs them out sometimes or he just gives them money to walk away from you or to go to somebody else. So you are, listen, let me, <laughs> anyways, anyways, folks, that's, <laughs> 
Mm -mm. I could not. I'm trying to imagine myself having a friend. And I'm telling her that, you know, I like Joseph. And she tells me, oh, don't talk to Joseph. Joseph is a woman nicer. Just, girl, I didn't ask you to tell me nothing about Joseph. I told you I like Joseph, okay? And I'm trying to find a way to get out here looking cute so that Joseph can ask me out. Because I ain't going to ask Joseph out on any day of the week. Because that ain't lady like in my book. Other women do that. That's fine for them. Works for them. But I ain't never going to raise my mother having voice. And ask a man out. Joseph gonna ask me out. But I'm gonna help Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord have mercy. <laughs> I'm gonna help Joseph ask me out. Mimi, I'm gonna dress real cute. I ain't gonna dress skimpy now. I'm gonna dress real cute. Have my hair done. <laughs> Be real nice to Joseph. Hey, Joseph, how you doing? I probably asked Joseph like 10 times already how he's doing. But as far as me fixing my, fixing my mouth to say, hey, Joseph, can I take it? What? No, 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 no. Let's see, Joseph. I've been giving you hints. And if you don't catch on to hints number one, two, three, don't, don't worry, Joseph. I got a hundred hints. By the time we get to 50, you're going to know that I need you. <laughs> I need you to ask me out because I find you to be very fascinating. Okay, Joseph? I've been talking. Listen, because I'm one of those people, I got to learn your brain before I can even talk to you. So by the time I get to the fact that I like you, that means that I've been around you for quite a, a while and I study you and I know how your brain works. You are someone very intellectual and worth the conversation, right? So by the time I'm putting in all this effort to give you hint, 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 and hint, I already know that you're worth my time, right? So, Joseph, I'm going to need you to get it together <laughs> and ask the question, do you want to go out or something to eat? Oh, really? I never... Ah, Joseph, I am shocked. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Lord, whoever I end up with, I'm so sorry I'm this way. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm so sorry in advance, but <laughs> I got to be me. I got to be me. Whoever I end up with, I'm so sorry. <laughs> just come with a little bit of retardedness to you. You'll understand me just fine. Anyways, but yeah. Can you imagine telling one of your girlfriends that you like Joseph and then she's there telling you about, oh girl, I heard about Joseph. He He's a woman nice and he be sleeping with this person, that person. Uh, -uh. Listen, listen, Betty, I ain't asked you any of that about Joseph. I told you I like Joseph. Okay, what you should be telling me is go talk to him, even though I'm not going to. And every time I see Joseph, I'm going to act shy and stuff. But, Hi, Joseph, how you doing? That's Okay, but I ain't asked you to tell me anything about Joseph. I'm going to see for myself. I'm going to find out for myself. Okay? And if you're genuinely telling me that Joseph is a womanizer, I appreciate that, but I'm going to still find out for myself. That part. Okay? So I don't know why brothers... Back to you, Rugrats. I don't know why you all put so much emphasis and importance on what your mother ever brothers have to say to you about the girl you are interested in or the girl you are dating. Your brother ain't fun to please you on any day of the week. He's repulsed by that, okay? Your brother is there to talk to him about going fishing, uh, going to the ball game, uh, fixing the car. Uh-uh. If you need, like, relationship advice, talk to him. If it don't sit too well with you, then don't don't apply nothing. He said, go get you a mother effing counselor, okay? Uh, but as far as your brother being the yes, 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 or no, 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 when it comes to your relationship, you got yourself effed up. And then some. Because you're missing out on your blessings out here. So, keep on asking your brothers and your friends, your male friends, for their approval because that's what you're doing when you ask them about stuff you're asking for their approval like hey dude you okay with me dating her and she cute you think she's cute right i'm gonna date her because you think she's cute you think her booty is fat i'm gonna date her because you think her booty is fat you think her uh tatas are, are good looking yeah i'm gonna date her you think her tatas are good looking that's basically what you're doing i'm putting two and two together for you all because you just don't get it 
you, you don't know how agitated women get when you've sent somebody to them. It is so infuriating. And then it, it, sometimes it be the ones who the woman like. You, like, let's say A is sending B, but your A will send B to come talk to the woman. And the woman said, God dang, I thought he was cute. But look at him sending me this rock right to come give me a message. Look, 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 look. Man, I'm just turned off. Stop doing that. That's also something that worked back in the days. Way back in the days. It don't work no more. The women today, they want you to come straight and direct to them. Let them know what it is you got to say. If it ain't there, then keep it pushing. They don't want to hear from your best friend. That's your best friend. Uh, 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 that's your best friend. She is not going to be in a relationship with your best friend. What if you sent your best friend to her and they get to talking and bada bang, bada boom, chemistry has developed between the best friend and the girl. What do you do? You're going to be mad because now she likes your best friend, but she doesn't like you. Now you're about to find out if your best friend is really your best friend. Listen, you got to put two and two together. You got to put two and two together. But anyways, back to this read. Back, back to this read. Mr. Knight of Cups, don't do it. Don't come towards that woman. She don't got time for your nonsense. You're wasting your breath. You're wasting your time. Give that money back to that queen of pentacles. Give that promotion, advancement, whatever it is. Give it back. Because that queen of wands you're going towards don't got time for your nonsense. She sees her. It's like whoever I saw in my dream. It's like he 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 already knew when he approached this woman. He said, sure, I got to be careful what I said to her. Shoot, she's going to see right through me. She probably already know. Like, he seemed like he was sweating bullets. <laughs> Stay where you are. Stay where you is. Stay where you is. Anyways, this uncle of yours or whoever this is. <laughs> Sinister. <laughs> Your uncle or whoever this is, your boss, your superior, manager, supervisor, whoever this is, baby, that man is cold. <laughs> Been blocking your love life for years. I'm going to go ask you. I'm going to ask Uncle Mike what, what he think. I'm going to let Uncle Mike know I give her an offer. And she she uh, she uh went and played me. And she's always smiling with people. And I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe she's smiling because Uncle Mike put it down on her. But okay, keep on asking Uncle Mike. Anyways, th this, this King of Swords, whoever else I'm picking up on, it don't got to be your uncle. It could be somebody else or it could be your uncle. This man, some, something is up with his mental. Whoever this is, something is up with his mental. Let me check my camera to make sure I'm still alive. Uh, something is wrong with this man's mental. This man is trying to figure out how to isolate someone and do them something. If it's this feminine energy and he feels that you are genuinely interested in being with this woman, they are sending you to words. He's trying to do something to her. So you're coming to this woman with a fictitious offer and your uncle thinks it's something that's solid. So you're both wasting this woman's time. I don't know if your uncle likes this woman. He may have a lot of attraction to her because she's showing up as the queen of wands between the both of you. So the both of you are very attracted to this woman. But neither of you got any type of sincere intentions for this woman. Leave her be. You see right there is a higher level soulmate that's watching over this woman. Leave her be so her higher level soulmate can come on in and take care of her. Okay? Because we is tired out here of you you knuckleheads coming in and wasting this divine energy's time. Take your knuckleheaded behind activities elsewhere. We are tired. <laughs> tired. Okay? This is how sometimes you end up with these energies and they just pass out on you and you don't understand talking about this is your world of life worker yeah but i'm with a devilish person so you expected me to be what yeah uh, okay neither of you need to come around this woman you're coming in he's coming in to harm her you're coming in to cause her blockages and still means you're coming in to cause manipulation you're being sent in to give her an offer you probably don't already want to give her this offer you may feel like she's uh out of your range or something because in the dream what i saw was a man that could barely even look a woman in the eye he kept looking down or something when he would be talking to her 
So you may feel like this woman is above your level or something. I don't think she sees things that way, but I think it's that this woman knows that you are part of something and this is why she does not want to have anything to do with either of you. Um, someone here though, this King of Swords, I feel like you two are familiar with one another. This King of Swords here, there's something where he plays like mind games with people and he doesn't realize that mind games is not as sophisticated as he thinks it is. It's like someone uh, trying to make you feel less than. Uh, let's say like you have someone that wants to act like they don't see you. Let's say you either go to school, go to church, or go to work with somebody and you've introduced yourself to this person before. They've called you by your name and all of that. And then they come in tomorrow and they say, what's your name again? Uh, actually, let me put it this way. You introduce yourself to them and they've been calling you by your name, let's say for months or something like that. And then one day they come in, what's your name again? And you tell them your name and, you know, a couple of weeks go by, they come back, come back again. They've been calling you your name for the past couple of weeks now. What's your name again? It's, it's a man. This is this kind of person. They play mental games, but they don't know that the mental games are not that sophisticated. Someone like me, I'll just tell you, don't worry about it. Like, you keep asking me for my name. And don't worry about it. It's not that important, sir. Actually, I've had, oh, I've had somebody do that to me before in a company. It was an older gentleman. Uh, it was a brother. Kept playing these little games, and I'm just watching. Like, oh, why, why is this man playing around? Like, what, what's wrong with you, brother? What's wrong with you? I would come in every day. He would say hi to me and stuff like that. It was my name, by the way. He didn't give me a nickname, calling me CC and stuff. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. CC is fine. I'm not really into the nicknames and stuff. If you in, if you in my mood, don't call me no nickname. Cynthia is fine. Anyways, he's calling me, uh, I think, CC or Sing, whatever it is. I'm like, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Come in one day, he doesn't know my name. What's your name again? I told him my name. I said, okay, I'm going to be polite today. <laughs> my name is blah, 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 blah. Okay. And I come back in another day. He's sitting out there. And he's sitting like on a bench by the fish tank. And he he had done this twice before. And I'm just like, okay, you, you a mature being, but huh? you ain't mentally ill. You ain't senile. You don't got no dementia, nothing like that. So I know you know what you're doing. So I come in this day and he asks me, uh, hey, what's your name again? And I tried to act like I didn't hear him, but my ancestors said, uh-uh. <laughs> or maybe it was me. <laughs> I'm going to blame it on my ancestors. They said, uh-uh. So I poked my head back out. I said, what, huh? You talking to me? He said, yeah. Uh, what's your name again? I said, well, if you can't remember it, it's probably not that important. Ah! And I walked away. Well, brother man decided that I had cursed him out. So he went and told people that I had cursed him out. So he caught a low attitude. And I'm like, mm, I don't even curse like that. I didn't curse you out. Uh, I just told you that if you can't remember my name, it must not be that important. Um, and he said something about, he thought I was being mean or something that, something about everybody. I'm like, well, that's why you don't generalize everybody, but you already know my names and you're playing mind games with me. Something like that. It's like, it's something like that. Someone tries to like, this man plays a lot of mind games and I don't even know why this story is coming up. But it's, it's relevant to something this man, this king of swords, whoever this is, does. He plays mind games with people and he likes to be in control. Because if you can see, we got the eight of swords, ten of swords, two of swords by this man. So this is someone that likes to be in control, especially when it comes to women. And if he finds you to be attractive and he's attracted to you and he wants to have you, but you're out of his rich like he can't have you someone goes bonkers like someone is like I, I don't even know what the word is to use but nutcase is not even uh good enough to explain what this brother is like a complete nutcase okay this brother here plays mental games of people and takes all kinds of crazy actions and things like that. I don't know if he's trying to make a change in his life or something. Listen, it ain't my place to be out here judging. Yeah, even though I be judging a lot. <laughs> but there's something that he does with a lot of, like, 
the, the mind. He plays mind games. And then you got a king of swords, whoever is really supposed to be giving you an offer. There are people trying to stop him, destroy. Like this man is going through a lot to get to you. They are trying to isolate him, confuse him, play mind games with him, trying to take him out, destroy him. Someone will be tampering with his car so that he's not able to come towards you. I just heard a pop noise when I said that. So they are trying to do something with his car. I said car, and literally a car just pulled up past my window to go into the building next to me. They're trying to temper with this man's car so that he does not make it to you. They're trying to stop him from coming towards you. This is someone that's attracted. So you got a lot of energies behind the scenes. There's one that is working with you on your behalf and is interested sincerely in working with you. He may even be like uh, confused or scared about coming towards you and things like that because of what people have told him or he feels like he may not make it there in time to you because he knows what these people are plotting but that is just too much it's all going to work out it'll work out just fine he will make it to you and give you this offer whenever you two are supposed to meet but this man is under a lot of stress. Is a lot of eyes on him. Uh, he could even have another energy that is watching him. A feminine energy. I don't know if he got entangled with another energy. And she's a nutcase as well. Trying to watch him. Watch where he's going and things like that. It is just too much going on. I see someone getting like divination readings to make sure that they are a step ahead of this man. To see where he's going. But it's a victory for the both of you. And it has people worried because the truth is out about you. And you are someone that's ascended. You're receiving some type of position or you're in control of something. And you're very committed. This is your emperor that's coming towards you, putting an end to being single. I'm telling you, he's putting an end to being single and wants to have this first start with you. Be Something I just heard, though. Be very cautious. Uh... Because there's something this man has to tell you. I don't know if someone has been, I don't know if he's been destroying or partook in destroying you or uh, something with this eight of swords out here, ten of swords, two of swords. There's some type of confession like this man is going to have to make when you two end up meeting whenever you're supposed to. Um... But he's in some type of remorse about working with a group of people to block either something for you, take something from you, put some type of bounty on your life or whatever this is. I don't know what this is, but this is someone that has something to say, to tell you. And hopefully you don't lose your mind when he tells you what it is that was being orchestrated behind the scenes with this three of pentacles out here against you. It's going to be heavy is what I'm hearing. It's going to be heavy. Um, it's almost as though like somebody was hired to take you out, but when they learn of who you were, I don't know if like they develop some feelings for you or and I don't even know what the what the feelings I don't like I don't even want to get into this, but there's some type of shift like your ancestor or the universe, they reveal some type of truth to this man. Whoever this is, maybe he was on the on the bandwagon of destroying you before, but something was revealed to him and he has taken a different path. So now that uh, he's on this different path, people are not happy with him. They're, they're very much angry that he wants to come towards you and give you some type of offer that's going to put you in a very beautiful and solid position. Uh, so just very much thread with caution. I don't know what this is, but it's a lot of commitment to blocking your new beginning, your offer, your victory, your success, your plans, and things like that for the future. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read, and goodbye for now.